वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई एल बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू टू वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग एग्जाम्पल्स बेस्ड ऑन सोर्स ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन सो लेट अस सी द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन हियर सो इफ यू ऑब्जर्व हियर वी आर हैविंग अ सर्किट एंड इन दिस सर्किट वी आर डील विथ टू फाइंड थैविनेंस वोल्टेज वी टी एच विच इज हैपनिंग ओवर हियर विथ प्लस माइनस पोलरिटी now if you solve this question of vth by mesh analysis or nodal analysis so in that case it will consume too much time as there are three voltage sources and four resistors connected in this circuit right so here easier way is to have source transformation right now how to apply source transformation so to apply source transformation you see here we are having current source in parallel with resistor so as if you have current source in parallel with resistor then current to voltage source transformation that we can have by just converting that voltage source in series with resistor and value of voltage source will be v is equals to ir so 1 into 1 that will be of 1 voltage and in series with that 1 ohm resistor will be there which is equivalent of this much circuit so now what i'll do is i'll connect one resistor in series with voltage source and the value of voltage source is 1 voltage and value of resistance that is of 1 ohm and you see current direction that is in upward direction so voltage source that should be minus plus polarity like this right now what i'll do is i'll connect this much part of circuit with this equivalent circuit now with this circuit you can observe this two voltage source that is there in series right and as it is there in series we need to do algebraic sum now you see that is happening from minus 2 plus and minus 2 plus so resultant voltage will be 1 plus 2 voltage and this two resistors are also there in series so resultant equivalent resistance of this two resistor that is also 1 plus 2 means 3 so equivalent of this circuit will be having 3 voltage and 3 ohm resistor which is there in series so now what i'll do is i'll redraw this much part of circuit equivalent to 3 voltage and 3 ohm so this resistance is of 3 ohm this voltage source is of 3 voltage and polarity should be minus plus so here minus plus that i'm placing right now with this circuit if you observe we have this voltage source in series with resistor so we can convert that into current source right where current source will be there in parallel with resistor so what will happen is current source will come in parallel and this resistor will also come in parallel so we can have equivalent calculation of it so here for this much part of voltage source in series with resistor we will try to calculate current source so current source i that will be v by r and here it is 3 by 3 so that is of 1 ampere and resistance is of 3 ohm right so now current source of 1 ampere that i'll be connecting it in parallel with 3 ohm resistor instead of this much amount of circuit so now you see what i have done is i have connected 3 ohm resistor in parallel with 1 ampere current source and you see voltage polarity is from minus to plus so i have current direction in this direction right now with this circuit you see here two current sources are there in parallel right so as two current sources are there in parallel current will be algebraic sum and algebraic means upward upward is positive positive means 1 plus 2 3 ampere and this two resistors that is there in parallel so equivalent will be 3 into 2 divided by 3 plus 2 so here current i that is 1 plus 2 as per parallel connection and it will be 3 ampere in upward direction right and resistance that is 3 parallel 2 right 
सो थ्री पैरल टू इज थ्री इंटू टू डिवाइड बाय थ्री प्लस टू सो दैट इज सिक्स बाय फाइव मीन्स वन पॉइंट टू ओ राइट सो नाउ वॉट आई डू इज आई एल कनेक्ट करंट सोर्स ऑफ थ्री एम पी आर इन पैरल विथ वन पॉइंट टू ओम रजिस्टर इन स्टेड ऑफ दिस मच सर्किट सो नाउ यू कैन ऑब्जर्व इन स्टेड ऑफ दिस टू पैरल करंट सोर्स थ्री एम पी आर करंट सोर्स इज कनेक्टेड एंड इन स्टेड ऑफ दिस टू रजिस्टेंस इन पैरल नाउ वन पॉइंट टू ओम इज कनेक्टेड सो नाउ इफ यू वॉन्ट वी टी एच देन यू कैन जस्ट कन्वर्ट दिस करंट सोर्स इन टू वोल्टेज सोर्स सो हियर वोल्टेज सोर्स दैट विल बी वी इज इक्वल्स टू आई आर एंड दैट इज थ्री इन टू वन पॉइंट टू मीन्स इट इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स वोल्टेज राइट एंड दैट शुड बी कनेक्टेड इन सीरीज विथ वन पॉइंट टू ओम रजिस्टर सो दैट विल बी रिजल्टिंग इन टू स्मॉलर सर्किट लेट मी ड्रो इट फर्स्ट सो वन पॉइंट टू ओम एंड हियर करंट डायरेक्शन इज अपवर्ड सो वोल्टेज विल बी माइनस प्लस and its value is 3.6 voltage right so now we have vth that one can say that is 3.6 voltage right and if you want rth then rth is simply algebraic sum of 4 and 1.2 so that is 5.2 ohm right so here you can observe by simply applying source transformation we can be able to solve questions so easily right now let me give you one more interesting question so that will gives you idea like how we can simplify electrical network by using source transformation so here question is you see we are having this circuit and in that v0 that we are delivered to find and if you observe this current sources are parallel with resistor you see and if you convert that to voltage sources then easily we can be able to solve one loop and after solving one loop we can easily have v0 value right so now see what i'll do is i'll calculate equivalent voltage of this much part then i'll calculate equivalent voltage of this much part then i'll calculate equivalent voltage of this much part right so equivalent voltage of this much part that is 3 into 4 means 12 voltage equivalent voltage of this much part that is pi into 6 means that will be 30 voltage equivalent voltage of this much part that is 2 into 9 that is 18 voltage right now i'll show you how we can connect all these voltage sources in series with resistor along with polarity so 4 ohm resistor that i need to connect and in series with that i need to connect voltage source as per this current source and voltage source is 12 voltage current source is happening in upward direction so minus is below and plus is upward that is how polarity should be there and value of voltage is 12 voltage now i'll connect equivalent voltage of this much circuit in that we have 9 ohm resistor you see along with series of voltage source of 18 voltage and current direction is this so i need to have minus plus like this right and value of voltage source that is 18 voltage now i'll calculate equivalent of this so that is 5 ohm in series with voltage source of 30 and current direction is downward so minus plus that is how direction will be there and value is 30 voltage in series with 5 ohm resistor and this circuit that is as it is so let me draw it over here and we are deal with to find v0 which is happening over here now we have just a single loop we can calculate loop current i by applying kvl in this loop and once we have kvl then we can have current i and v0 will be i r directly we can be able to place the values right so let us apply kvl in loop i 
so now we will start from this voltage source so that is happening from minus 2 plus so that is 30 voltage now this voltage source in this loop it is happening from minus 2 plus so it is again plus 12 plus this voltage source that is happening from minus 2 plus so that is again plus 18 then this voltage source that is happening from minus 2 plus in this loop so that is also plus 30 and that is equals to current I into all the resistors right so here 2 ohm resistor is there 4 ohm is there 9 ohm is there and 5 ohm is there so I can say 2 plus 4 plus 9 plus 5 I can directly write this the reason is there is only one loop right so you see 30 plus 12 42 42 plus 18 60 60 plus 30 90 that is equals to I into 2 plus 4 6 plus 9 15 plus 5 20 so I can say I is equals to 90 by 20 and that will be 4.5 so now we got the value of current I and we can have V0 so you see current direction is there in, in this direction so I can say V0 that is just IR I is 4.5 into resistance R is 2 ohm so this is 4.5 into 2 means 9 voltage right so that is how we can identify equivalent voltage by applying source transformation see here I am explaining all the steps it, that's why it is taking somewhat time but when you solve it by your own it will not take that much time it is very easy so just see how we apply the rules and even I have solved many other questions based on source transformation in the playlist of network theory you just go through it once definitely you will be able to solve problems very quickly and very easily thank you so much for watching this video